Hey guys, A28 Find Adventure. I got sent from a company this really neat uh, hitch step, they call it, uh, to go on the back of the Tundra or any vehicle with a two inch hitch. This one is a has a four pin connector that plugs into you know your trailer hitch area, whatever you got. You might need an adapter if you have a seven pin. But let me show you this. These are great. I think I did a video on one, well I know I did, on one before. This one though has a step, so that makes it really handy. Um, gives you a wide step for people with big feet like me. So uh, let's check this out. Let's unbox it. All right guys, here's the box. Let's go ahead and get this thing cut open. I'm just gonna use my handy dandy razor blade here. Try not to slice into my hand. Try not to cut too deep because you don't want to cut anything, any wires, or uh, scratch the powder coating that I believe this comes with. Um, so let's go ahead and move this camera a little closer. And I'm going to move it down here and let you see what have we got here. So it's wrapped up really nice. This is what we got. This is the two inch part that slides into your receiver. You can see here. Some really nice powder coating on here. I would say it's not really thick uh, steel, but it is, it is steel. You can see uh, some are beefier, a little more beefier than others. It does come with a pin, which is very important. It's always nice to have a hitch pin, and all the hardware to assemble it, which looks to be stainless, stainless hardware. That's a, that's a good one there. Comes with a little Allen wrench, comes with a hitch pin, and then we have, let's see what we got here. The last thing comes with some zip ties. That'll help with the wiring. And there's the four pin wire right there. So basically, you get this really neat light here. Now this light, if it's like the other ones they make, it's a sequential turn, right or left. It has a brake light and a running light. Um, if you want, you can take this white wire right here and run it to your reverse lights, and then it will have a really bright reverse light. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I don't need it. Uh, I have really bright LEDs in my tail lights, uh, which I've done a video on. Um, I put those in all the cars so when you back up at night, you can really see far and let people know you're backing up because they get annoyed. Um, so anyways, you can see here, it's, this is really nice. It's a big platform for my size 12 foot to stand on, but let's get this assembled and, uh, and then I'll uh, show you what it looks like when it's on and uh, working. So what you will need is an eight millimeter wrench just to hold the little nylon threaded nut to go on the back of these little stainless Allen screws. And if you look here, this piece here, pretty self-explanatory the way this goes together, but you basically, it goes like that inside. I don't know if you can see that, but both pieces go inside it's really that's really the only way it's going to go together you've got four let's see one two three four five six seven eight so you've got four on this side here four on this side towards the light so let's go ahead and see what we can do here it's, uh, on the front towards the light it is pre-threaded Looks like it's about a two millimeter, three millimeter little. It's a little, little tight to get in there with my big 
hot dog fingers, but but it's doable. You just have to be patient. We got those towards the light done. Like I said, those are already pre-threaded. I bought this nice little set of ratcheting wrenches at uh, Harbor Freight. Fairly inexpensive. Gives me eight millimeter through, through 17 and has ratcheting on one side, which is really handy when doing all kinds of stuff. And there you go. That's all done. Look at that. So that turns out pretty neat. It's got this light, got your little four pin connector. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put some tools away. Okay. I'm going to pull my old one off here, unplug it. There it is. Let's see here. Now, of course, these wires will all be tucked up under here really nice when I'm done. But look at this. I want to show you this at a distance. So here you go. I need to get up on the roof and just go like this. Look. That's pretty neat. Let's do a side view here. That makes it a lot easier. That extra few inches, trust me, on these old knees makes a big difference. Now let's check it out and see what exactly everything it does here. Alright guys, I hope you like my video on this right here, this little hitch step. Uh, this is different than the other ones I've done in my videos. You can check out my channel to see those. Um, but this one really provides a nice platform here for my big giant clown feet, size 12. And uh, you know, the light is great, super bright. And um, you know, I hope you enjoyed that little install video. This company uh, makes some really strong stuff. And, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't had any problems with it, you know, with the, with the other one I have. Uh, I have it on a different vehicle at the moment. It's on the uh, Ridgeline. But this one works great. I'm going to use it. And it makes it really easy to stand up and put stuff on the rack. Uh, if you would, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you've got. I know there's all different versions of this for... You know heavy duty ones um you know what i can say about these is be careful not to hit your shin uh kind of make a conscious note in your brain um so you don't bang your shin on this because that would really hurt 
other than that, I love these things. Uh, they are deterrents. They keep people from getting right up on your bumper. And, uh, you know, please subscribe and please comment. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. See ya.